Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, February 25th. The time is 1024 a.m. And the temperature right now is minus 2 degrees Celsius. I'm here on Dearborn Avenue in the Riverdale neighborhood in Toronto. And that is Broadview Avenue, just up ahead here. And I will be turning right and walking north up Broadview Avenue to where it ends at O'Connor. And then from there, I think I'll head east over towards Pape Avenue. That's a look south down Broadview. Just to the south of here on the right side is Riverdale Park East. And just to the north of here is the intersection of Broadview Avenue and Danforth Avenue. In the other direction, Broadview runs south all the way to just past Eastern Avenue. And it passes through East Chinatown and the Riverside neighborhoods along the way. And here's the former home of the New York Cafe. This was a local institution, but under the current restrictions, they were forced to close down. So just to the east of here is the Greektown neighborhood. And just to the west, is the Bloor Viaduct, and that'll take you on into downtown, and just beyond that is Yorkville. But for this one, I'll be heading north up Broadview, and once I get north of Chester Hill, I don't think this is a stretch I've covered on this channel before. There's Broadview Station. You can grab a number of buses or streetcars from that station, as well as the subway. There's the very appropriately named Broadview Subway Station Parquet. The streetcar appears to be just chilling. And I forgot to say, it doesn't appear to have an operator, but... He was attending to one of those accessible ramps that come in and out of the streetcars to help those in wheelchairs and who are otherwise unable to step up into the streetcar. And here's the Albany Medical Clinic. I've stopped in there before. And another look to the south.
There's a couple of rather nice looking older homes. They are probably well over a hundred years. And this neighborhood is known as the Plater Estates. And it is bound by Jackman Avenue to the east and the Don Valley, which is just over to the west. Danforth Avenue to the south, which is where near, or near where I started. And Fulton Avenue to the north of here. So this was historically more of a Greek neighborhood. Although with rising property values, the residential streets that connect off of Danforth are decidedly upper middle class. And it's called the Plater Estates as this land was formerly owned by the Plater family. Lasse Crucian Regional Cultural Center. I have no idea what that is. And by the early 1900s, the land had been turned over to the city and subdivided up into residential plots. And at the top of Broadview, there's a rather neat building we'll be checking out. That's right at Broadview and O'Connor. And just up here to the left is Chester Hill. And if you were to head west along Chester Hill, that'll take you to the Chester Hill Lookout. From that lookout, you'll get a rather neat view of the city. I think it was Saturday or Sunday. I, I think it was Saturday. I started a live stream from the Chester Hill lookout. And there's the Estonian Baptist Church. Take a quick look at the types of homes you'll find in this neighborhood. And there is some kind of daycare center for children one through nine. And this is Chester Hill Road on the left. Uh, 
I plan on crossing the street here as there is the Estonia house. I'd like to get a closer up look at it. It's providing these traffic signals that are letting me cross. The orange light indicates I did press the button, but I'm kind of tempted just to jaywalk here given the low volume of traffic and the fact that it doesn't seem to... Oh, there we go. My impatience got the better of me there. And here is a request along Chester Hill Road. And we're back. At some point, I think when I was crossing Broadview over to the west side here, the camera drifted upwards and it was pointing pretty much straight up into the sky. And it wouldn't reset itself, so I ended up turning off my camera a few times. But everything seems to be behaving normally right now. So this is Chester Hill Road. And this is a look to the west towards the Chester Hill Lookout. It's only about a four or five minute walk in that direction. It looks like this site here is up for redevelopment. It'll be a new mixed-use building going up there. And the reason why I came in this way was to get a look at the older part of the Estonia house. And this is a former public school. It was purchased back in the 1960s. Although I think there still might be some type of school facility on these grounds. I think its correct name is the Estonian House. And there's a number of different organizations located inside this building, including the consulate to Estonia. Official entrance on Broad, Broadview Avenue. Don't know how old this building is, but seeing as it was purchased in 1960, I would wager it's a good at least 20 or 30 years older than that. banquet and meeting halls. So I think this is sort of the Estonian cultural center of Toronto. I know they have Estonian houses in other cities. Consulate General of Estonia, as well as Heinsu Insurance Brokers. That's an interesting mix. And where is the Estonian flag? There's part of the redevelopment, so it looks like they want to keep the older structure and erect a 16-story building on the western end of the property there. So Broadview, at least the northern part, seems to be an interesting mix. 
of low-rise, mid-rise, and high-rise residential, along with retail. It's kind of like that all the way to where it ends at the south as well. Westdale Properties. So this is uncharted territory for this channel. And is that a Dairy Queen coming up? I'm sure someone will fill me in in the comments, but I'm struggling to think of other Dairy Queen locations in the city right now. I know there's one in Clarkson in Mississauga along the lakeshore, but that's the only one that's coming to mind right now. And this is Pottery Road. So this will sort of Dive down into the valley and head over to Broadview Avenue. Or this is Broadview Avenue. I'm a Bayview Avenue. I had my avenues mixed up. And it looks like there is a sidewalk, so you could walk it. And for some reason, this guy is not indicating his turn. It's always good. I think we might get treated to a pretty nice, or nice view. <laughs> I'd imagine the people up in this condo would have a terrific view of the city. It's a little bit obscured by trees, but that's the Yorkville area. That's the northern part of downtown straight ahead. And the Don Valley Brickworks would be straight ahead from this view. And there's the center of Midtown Toronto up near where I live at Young and Eglinton off in the distance. There's a Sobeys. It's a grocery chain, but it's on the more expensive side. I think I see a Dollarama coming up ahead. That bus will be heading down to Broadview Station. So if I'm not already in the Broadview North neighborhood, I'm just about there. I wasn't paying attention. I'm not sure if I'm north of Fulton or not yet. I suppose I could cheat and pull out my phone. Maybe if I get a red light here. It doesn't really matter. This 
So this here is Hillside Drive. Okay, so Fulton was back near the Estonian house. So this is in fact Broadview North. And there is the Massey Center. I think this is a provincially run facility. I'm not sure what exactly it is they do there. Looks like daycare and I don't know what else. There's an IDA pharmacy. You don't see those too often anymore. Z and Z or Z and Z European Grill and Deli. Looks like they're proposing an 11 story condo to go where the Salvation Army is here. It seems to be a relatively quiet neighborhood, although I couldn't really tell you what it's like when there isn't a pandemic. The north part of Broadview sort of heads to the northeast. The little free pantry, take what you need Give what you can. There's even some ice skates. So here is Cosburn Avenue. It's a cute home. So I think up until I get to O'Connor, this is the most major east to west street. Marlister Manor. So in this area, it's kind of bordered in by the Don Valley.
on that side and then it kind of bends to the right. So there's no real way west out of here unless you go south back to Pottery Road, I think. And this is Don Valley Drive. So just up ahead is where Broadview comes to an end. And there's a rather nice facility to check out at the north end of the street. And you can see the older building straight ahead on the right. That is the Sisters of St. Joseph of Toronto Aged Care Center. It's a large facility for elderly nuns. And the main structure, which we'll see in a minute on the left, I think opened in 2013 to the tune of $40 million. It's a rather impressive looking building. I've only seen it once before when I rode my bike by it. And look at this home here. That looks rather grand. Oh, it looks like it's a dental office. There's a sign for implants there, or possibly a plastic surgeon. I have no idea. And if you're looking for a place to rent, just pop that address into your web browser. And here's that new $40 million building. I think it has healthcare facilities built in. So in a sense, it's kind of like a live-in hospital. Private property, thank you for not trespassing. You're welcome. Is it trespassing if I take a stroll? the front entrance to the property here. And apparently this building uses solar panels and rain collection barrels and geothermal heating, geothermal heating. So it's quite green in that sense. Oh, they have security there. And I'm not sure how old this part of the facility is, but looks to be quite old. I don't see a heritage plaque. And this is O'Connor Drive. 
And I know I said I would walk east over to about Pape, but there's really not a whole lot to see until you get there. So on that note, I think I will end this video here. So I hope you enjoyed this walk up Broadview Avenue. I apologize for that brief camera mishap. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links to my Patreon account in the description, as well as my Instagram account. And you can check out channel memberships on the main page. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.